we're going somewhere a little bit exciting. We're just about to leave. Uh, the car's all packed. It's a bit late in the afternoon, a bit later than we'd hoped, but that's okay. We're heading somewhere I've been wanting to go for a while, so pretty special. This week we said goodbye to Val, who we would be leaving in Kununurra, and headed out of town with the swag. It was a bit of a rocky start after finding our water pump this leaking right ideal. as we were about to leave, but it was that late in the old. day and there was nothing we could do water. except put some towels down and turn off the water and leave it for later. We had to pull everything out from under the bed so that the water doesn't get on everything. We pulled into El Questro Station that night. It's along the Gibb River Road and it's probably one of the most well-known places in the Kimberley. From the turn off it's a dirt road and there's a few water crossings but it wasn't too bad in the ute um, but I still wouldn't want to bring Val in here even though we did see quite a few caravans that really surprised us. Um, I'm not quite sure how they went getting them in there. We did see a few people taping up their windows and vents to stop dirt getting in and dust, but yeah, I wouldn't want to do it with Val. After setting up camp, we treated ourselves to dinner and a few drinks, listening to a bit of live music. It was nice to be back in the swag for a few days and it's really nice going to sleep with the moon under the sky watching the stars and then waking up with the sun it's pretty good our campsite was pretty nice it was really grassy and had a lot of shade and that was really nice through the day when it got really hot the day off with a dip in Zebedee Springs which is a thermal spring so it's like having a warm bath and it was even better than I expected it's just a little tropical oasis you can't really see it in the video but that water all in here is crystal crystal clear about as clear as you can get I can't believe this place. Palm trees and ferns. It really does not feel like, it just doesn't feel at all like we're up in the Kimberley and remote outback northwest Australia. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Oh, look at all the reflections of the palm trees and the water.
drinks from Concrete. Really? Yeah. Oh. Like carpet. Yeah, it is like carpet. Even warmer. Everywhere we go, there's just little pools everywhere. All under that rock. And leaves everywhere. Giant spiders. Ooh, that spider's huge. a bit of a look up at what's it called? Saddle Saddleback Saddleback Saddle Pack Saddle Pack Ridge it's just a lookout. big hike up here eh? we just Pretty drove fitness and that we just drove the air we didn't walk we walked like 10 meters to to the viewing platform um it was a pretty intense full drive track too but anyway Folks that would have come here back in the day and decided to do the homestead over there and when you're up here you can see why they would have but when you're down on the ground you can't. really wanted to go and do a bit of fishing so we drove to the Pentecost which is just up the road and spent a fair few hours there didn't catch anything not a single thing so that was a bit of a bugger but I think Jack enjoyed himself I've just got the seat pulled up out the front of the ute Underneath the awnings, Jack's down there fishing. There's a really nice breeze, and so I'm feeling very relaxed and chill, chilled out, pissed out. How is it down there? Good. What do you reckon? I just fish. Oh, yeah, kind of I'll here. fish for another half hour and then we make some to eat. Or you want some to eat now? What do you reckon? Um, it's compelling television. <laughs> I don't mind. Well, what do you want? Yeah, I don't mind. I'm happy if you want to wait. I can wait half hour. Just flick and then we'll eat and then. You can't. 
Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, not like this, trying to keep you in the thing. <laughs> gotten really hot. I've been sitting here in the shade reading a book and it's been fine but now it's like that point in the afternoon and it's just got really bloody hot and I don't think Jack's coming back anytime soon. It's having too much fun down there fishing. I might have to go and sit in the car with the aircon on while I wait for him I think. So Emma Lane wants to go. And I'm pretty keen on telling her no. Because the fishing hasn't been as good as it should be. We're gonna put on another lure. We're gonna cast all down this rock, all the way back down until we get to the tidal stuff. Bit of walking. It's gonna be fun. Are you cane? Have you got your walking shoes on? Nope. I'm gonna see if this old mate's got across this creek. I don't think you can ever drop across it. Happy to be headed home, Jacko. I am. I am. It was a lovely day, but until the wind stopped and then it got a tad warm. You said you didn't even notice it being hot. I'm playing it up for the camera and for you, Dale, trying to make you feel alright, like you're not the only one getting hot. But you did the opposite of that, you said no, it's out. not that hot. And you know what you do when it's hot? Oh! <laughs> Naughty. Can't go that way, can we? Well, we are today. Oh, yeah, it is a track. I thought it was just like a cliff down there. It is. Jack and I have just left. Alquestro campgrounds and we're heading out to do the walk up into Emma Gorge and we did it the other day but we went a bit later in the day and it was really busy so we're heading there a little bit earlier today to see if that makes a difference at all. Hopefully it'll be a little bit quieter. I'm wearing sneakers this time so we'll be able to hike in there a little bit faster I'd say. No, Last time I just flat. Yeah. I didn't get blisters. Did you get blisters? No. How beautiful and cool is it this time of the morning? I you're leading to some bit of a go here, or? Yeah, we're <laughs> Funny if you didn't know there was a big gorge at the end of it, you'd just pull up here. Nearly there. I mean, I actually noticed this last time. I'm just zooming that one on the way back. And when the sun's on it, how blue is it? Yeah. Super, super blue, mate. Tell it, on the way back. Tell it I noticed, actually, last time we did this. And I noticed it again just now. As soon as you come out of that sort of normal country, that dry sort of stuff, and you get up in here where it gets ferns and overgrown a bit, yeah. a bit more foresty or whatever, the temperature drops about 10 degrees. Yeah, it's going cooler. Yeah, happened last time as well. Look at all the shade too, like where we are in the gorge. Look how red that is with the morning. Falling over the top of us. Come on, guys. Charging ahead. Yeah, don't pretend because you're on camera that you're the one leading the crew here all the time. Eating the crew all the time. Look at the water from here. Oh wow. That's so cool. I reckon it's gone down about a metre. It has, it has gotten smaller. Way, way small. 
All right, yeah, let's go. Enough yarn. There's enough for listening to my puffing and picking. Jack said it's always really freezing, although he's pulling a face at me like it's not that warm. Go that way, it's warm that way. There's a hot it's pretty bloody cold at the moment. No, there's a hot spring over there and it's made the water really warm. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just too excited and I can't feel the cold. I don't know. So I could be I could be saying the wrong thing here. It's so pretty. Look at all the ferns on the walls. And we're just in this massive gorge and the water is crystal clear and the most beautiful blue. Jack's being a wuss and doesn't want to get in the water. Get in there. <laughs> How is it? I love it. How you did not get a start at the Commonwealth Games, I do not know. This has got to be one of the most beautiful places I think I've seen. Ever. Like, lifetime. It's up there. But what we've seen on our trip so far, it's really hard. It's epic, oh. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty Haven't eaten out of coffee yet Probably don't need one, yeah? Understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling it's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a coffee too I'm frozen You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night It's time to fight Pack our bags and get in that car Countryside is so pretty with 
is without a doubt one of the most spectacular places that I've been. It does get really busy, um, but we were really lucky when we were there. We were pretty much the only ones who were actually getting in the water and swimming. The other people, I think, were just kind of sitting and enjoying it and said the water was a bit too cold. So we got really lucky, so that was pretty cool. Going away and camping is really great. But coming back home to Val is pretty good. 